Okay, now, a short history of my life as a poet. I realize in this moment that my life is like a piece of mold, and this is how I've grown it. The universe has rained down upon me the exact experiences to make of me nothing but a poet. And if I tried to take that life and put it into any other socket, I would blow it. I just know it. Cause you know what? I try hard to be a teacher, reaching into the hearts and minds of the youth and seeing what I could leave there. But you never quite know what you're gonna get when you're dealing with the young creatures. And it's left me with nothing but a Messiah complex and an ache to be a preacher. So then I turned my hand to the security industry. That wasteland of inactivity that turns boredom into a currency. Staring at 34 screens, trying my hardest not to just fall into perversion and sleaze. A job with so much ease, I can't believe they're just paying me to be a creep. <laughs> but don't forget about my youth. Oh, lost and unloved. I invested in shaking hands at nightclubs. You know, trying to find new ways for your socks to hide your drugs. You know, scratching and itching with the other sketch bags, picking at the bugs. You know what I'm talking about. You're leaning over a mirror and you're looking at your own self-worth and you just shrunk. And then I became a DJ, addicted to the drum machine, sampling in the replay, anything to get up on the stage they could see. Okay. Um, I realize now that all the interest in those past lives just leaves me. And the only art form that retains any kind of meaning is poetry. Yeah. I first took notice of her beauty watching the movie The Basketball Diaries. I was 16 and the trials of puberty were trying me and all of a sudden the idea of writing out the pain just lit this fire in me, you know? And now I'm never without my own pyre, my spiral bound notebook. It resides like a Bible in my pocket. And then whenever I get inspiration, well, I've got it. Whenever I need to unwind the confusion, I just jot it. I've been writing so long now, I can't even stop it. Because I write while I'm walking. I almost get hit by traffic sometimes. I write while people are trying to talk. I write while I'm on the job. And the whole world can, like, shit and puke and piss all over the floor of my life. Don't worry, it's worth it. And poetry's the mop. <laughs> I'm telling you people, working for money's the bottom, it's right in lines, it's the top. Shit! Yeah. yeah. I'm a slave to the verse, but it makes me free. I could lose everything but my, my, my writing hand, and I'd be none the worse, you know? I'm, I wake up at night, and I have to write out my dream lines, and it's as much a blessing as a curse. And now I know that everything I do from this moment forward, I'm a poet first. Yeah. Woo!